Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Becker Designs, and I have a fun little sweet strawberry project for you today. It's so cute. Inside are some little icebreakers duo. It's January right now, and I know everybody I know is trying to work off all that holiday calorie, <laughs> um, you know, weight gainage. So how about some mints? Everybody could use mint when they're wanting to eat something sweet, right? So these little strawberry ones, they're easy to find everywhere. Walmart, Target, your grocery store. Um, and the stamps that I'm using is, it's called Sweet Strawberry. It has a matching punch, which we all love. And I think it's in my, pretty much my top five favorite pro products from this catalog. You'll find, um, once you have the stamp set, you see strawberry flavored everything when you go to the grocery store. There's lots of treats you can get that are strawberry uh, flavored. The paper is a celebration item. It's actually part of a bundle and it's free with a hundred dollar purchase. You get a pack of 12 by 12 Berry Blessings uh, designer series paper and another Berry stamp set. Um, so it coordinates really well. So if you buy this and you add in a few more things, you'll have enough in your in your cart to get that bundle for free, which I highly recommend because hello, it has strawberries on it. It goes perfectly with our stamp set. Okay, well, let's start by making the box, okay? You're going to need, and I chose Poppy Parade because Poppy Parade is the color, the red color in the designer series paper. Um, we have several reddish colors, uh, real red, um, poppy parade, um, both would work, but if you want it to coordinate with this paper, obviously you want to go with poppy parade. Okay, let's look at our PDF. This PDF is over on my blog. Under the this photo, you'll find a link to it. It has all the products that I'm using as well as the measurements that you're going to need to make this box. All right, so this measures nine and fourth by six and a fourth. We're gonna score the long side at three fourths, one and a half, four and three fourths, five and a half, and eight and three fourths. All right, now turn it, and we're gonna score it at three fourths, one and a half, four and three fourths, and five and a half. Okay. Now, before we start cutting, let's go ahead and burnish all of those lines. This is a bone folder, and it helps you really get those lines nice and crisp so that when you put your box together, it looks perfect. All right, we've got quite a few score lines here. I think we've got nine score lines all together. And one more, nope, two more, right here, and right here. Okay, now you'll see that we've got two sections here and then one and one. This one on the end, this is going to be the lid that folds down into your box, okay? So just remember that the single tab end is the top. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab my scissors. We're going to cut off these two squares and these two squares, okay? Now, with your scissors, cut that and that at an angle, okay? Now, take this um, outside rectangle and cut it off, and then do the same thing on the other side, okay? Now take your scissors and cut in there and also cut this one at an angle. Cut in and cut at an angle. Okay, so that's where we are right now. Okay, that's the lid. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to cut off these three corners. This always reminds me of Tetris. If you ever played Tetris, that's what these, this little shape always reminds me of, the three squares. Okay, cut that. And do the same thing over here. And we'll cut this one. Now, cut this in. And cut this one 
in. Now cut these in. And when you do, cut this one off. Okay, cut in and off. Okay, so we'll take a look at it. That's where we are. Now, come back with your scissors and cut all of these corners off. This is just gonna help everything go together nice and easy. There won't be any cardstock that is kind of, you know, a hair too long or a hair too big. Sometimes that happens. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there, I promise. Okay, we are there. Now, here is what your piece looks like. Singles over here, that's your lid. This is your bottom. Um, we're gonna fold this up and over these two. Okay, so if you need to pause the video to look at it, to cut yours, go right ahead. Okay, now, this is the outside. I am gonna put a little bit of adhesive Stamp and Seal Plus here on these four little corners. Okay, I'm gonna fold them up. And before I fold them in, I'm gonna put adhesive here and here and here. Okay, so set this guy up and fold him into, press that in right there. Do this one and press that in right there. These two guys go in and press. Okay, make sure everything is nice and square. And then just fold these over. This creates a rounded edge and it makes the box fancy. And then you're just gonna fold all of these. You put your mitts in there and you fold down your box. And there's your box. It's like a little tiny pizza box. Isn't that fun? Okay, now let's, decorate the fun part I've got a piece of granny apple green that I'm going to put right here on the top whoops if I can get it centered there we go then I've got a piece of our designer series paper look at the print on the other side strawberry that would be cute punched with that strawberry builder punch all right now I have ahead of time I have already cut out a heart using the stitched Be Mine heart dies. I'm gonna stamp my uh, strawberry three times on Poppy Parade cardstock. All right, one, two, three. Let's get that punch. And one, two, Three. Okay. Now. All right. Now we're going to want two leaves and one stem. And if you look at your punch, if you punch them at the same, or if you stamp them in the right place, the um, in the exact right place, you can actually punch them without wasting a whole lot of cardstock. You can also do that with the strawberry and the flower if you're going to stamp them on maybe whisper white cardstock. All right. So go ahead and punch on like just some scrap cardstock. Set it down and take the stamps and lay them down like a little puzzle. Fit them in. Okay. Let's get that one to fit right there. And then take your block and pick it up. Now we're gonna stamp it twice. And I like to kind of look, do I need it at the top or the bottom? I want it kind of towards the top of my, my cardstock. So I'm gonna stamp one here and one here. I only need one stem, but I do need both of those leaves. See how it lines up beautifully. Okay. Okay, now let's do the second one. There we go. All right, so we need two leaves, one stem. Mm, which one do I like better? They're both the same. Okay, now let's go ahead and stamp. This is um, the image that has the little flowers 
and the leaves in the background. So I'm gonna stamp that on my basic white heart. I'm not gonna worry about the flowers because we're gonna cover them up with the strawberry. Grab my two blends, they're on the other side over here. I'm gonna take my granny apple green, color in those leaves. I stamped it in granny apple green ink, and now I'm coloring it in with the same color of stamp and blend. Now I'm just taking the dark and just kind of flaring out. Okay, now let's take, oh, before I do move on, I forgot this the first time I made this box. Let's put the sentiment just for you right up here in the corner. Okay, now we're ready. Take your strawberries, fold them in half. Fold them in half, like that. Then you're gonna take your adhesive, whichever adhesive you prefer. I'm just gonna use Stamp and Seal Plus for the sake of the video. And we're gonna, we're gonna adhere these halves like that. Okay, see how that is? I'm gonna do another one. You could do two. But we're gonna do three. My dogs are very excited about the strawberry. They're very excited. <laughs> I don't know why they're barking. All right, there we go. We've got our 3D strawberry. Now for this, I'm gonna fold that stem up and I'm gonna get some glue dots. Let's see if I can get them to stick. We have the UPS man here a little while ago. I think they're still upset about the UPS guy. Put that layer on top. And now um, let's do the leaves first. I think we should do that. So we're gonna put one kind of like that. And, all right, we'll put our strawberry right there. And I'm gonna take that other leaf. And I'm gonna put it down here, kind of cover up that flower. Right like that, there we go. And then we're just gonna put that on top of our box with some more dimensionals. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add a linen bow, linen thread bow. So just take your thread, tie a bow. This I'm folding it in half so it'll be a little bit fluffier, a little bit fuller, but you don't have to. You can just use a regular one single piece. Snip and snip, and a glue dot. And we're gonna put that right there. And there you have it, how adorable, how cute. Wouldn't these make a great little pick-me-up treats for those January blues? I think so. All right, make sure you hop over to my blog and grab that PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.